start a new module, module two, introduction to Spring MVC. Part A, getting started with Spring MVC. 8.1, design pattern, model view controller. So here, MVC, that is this model view controller. In our first video, I want to explain this model view controller a little bit. Yeah. Some of you may not have a good idea about this concept. Yeah. So we, you know, just go through uh, quickly, uh, you know, the basics of the model view controller. Yeah. First, yeah. so let's look at the, you know, the meaning. Model view controller, it is a design pattern. Yeah. So I give you this concept in our module one. Service locator, right? Uh, dependency injection, those we call the design pattern. Yeah. Here we learn another one, model view controller. Yeah. All right, so the meaning, What's the meaning of model first? Data representation. In a project, you need to represent your data, right? The data part is very important. So you need to send data between client and server. Here we are talking about web applications. For this class, we only work on web applications. So client, server, communication, when you send a data, then you may like to organize your data, right? How do you organize your data? How to carry the data, you know? For that kind of basic issue, so here we use a special component that we call model for our data representation yeah. but how do we represent data yeah. here we can treat it as a data structure yeah. data structure why there because we want to organize data right yeah you know the reason we use data structure because we want to organize our data All right yeah so the first point yeah then how do we organize data, right? How do we use Java beans? Java beans, so that's the best form to organize data. Java beans, yeah. So very simple, yeah, because Java beans contains properties, right? Properties used to store data, properties. Then getters and setters, so we can access access data through getters and the setters. Yeah. So that's the basic Java Bean things. So I treat this part as the background. Yeah. So you should have the you know Java Bean background a little bit. Yeah. All right. So next component, view component. So that's for the data presentation. Now you have the data. You need to present your data in a you know special format for your customers. Yeah. So your customers, so they want the data presented in a special way, so they can understand the data. So the presentation also very important. Yeah. So that's the front end of your web application. So this view part, also, you know, very important. Yeah. How do we do the data presentation? All right, so JSP pages is a commonly used way to do this. Commonly used way to do this. All right, yeah, but, yeah. so this is the, you know, uh, pretty much the old way, yeah. But the, in recent, recent, 
relatively new way for data presentation. You know, people go back to the, you know, the original front end technology using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That's the new trend. New trend, you can see data presentation. Uh, people do not use JSP. People do not use JSP. Yeah. yeah. But the old way, you know, for some, uh, you know, some cases, uh, it is still used. Yeah. The new trend, new trend using this way. Later we will get there. Yeah. So when we you know learn more and more, we will get there. Yeah. But at the beginning, we still we learn this old way, JSP way. Yeah. All right. Then present data in the model. So data is sent in the model, storing the model, right? Yeah. Then before we do the presentation, we need to retrieve data from the model objects. Model contains many Java objects. So we retrieve those Java objects. Then we use some special presentation technology to present data. Presentation technology. Okay, so, so what kind of presentation technology? In JSP, Presentation technology, JSTL is one, EL another one, JSTL, Java Standard Tag Library, JSTL, EL Expression Language. Yeah. So these two technologies are frequently used to retrieve data from the model and present their values. Yep. But this way, non-JSP way, yep. so because this way, non-JSP way, right? Yep. The current trend, so this is the current trend. No JSP technology is used, the current trend, right? Then the model part will be changed. So the model part will not be stored in Java Bean. Okay? Yeah. Otherwise, if you do not use JSP, you cannot retrieve data from the Java Bean. Right? Yeah. So the data will be organized in another commonly used format, JSON format. JSON format. Okay? So this is the most popular, you know, in current technology, the most popular format, JSON format. Okay. Then you can use JavaScript to retrieve data from the JSON object. Yeah, JSON object. So you retrieve from the JSON object. Okay. Then you present yeah, using the object way. JavaScript object way, you retrieve the data, you know, from the properties of the object. So then you present. Yep. All right. Yeah. So later at some time, so we will go there. Yeah. Then the last component, controller, extremely important controller concept. Request dispatching and data processing. Doing request dispatching. When you send a request through URL and through HT, uh, HTTP protocol. Yeah. H, when you send data using HTTP protocol. Yeah. So in the controller, it will do dispatching. So for this particular URL, which controller should be used to handle 
this request. Okay, yeah. So then in that controller, what Java object is used to do the data processing? You know, for things like that, you will do it in the controller component. Yeah. All right, so that's the, you know, the general picture. Yeah. Yeah. But to use as a controller, usual Java servlets can be used as a controller. You know, controller concept and a server concepts pretty close. Yeah. Pretty close. But controller is built on top of servlets. Servlets technology on top of it. Yeah. And add a little more features. Yeah. So the controller have some more features on top of the servlets. Yeah. Yeah. Then a spring framework, it has its own special controllers. Yeah. So we will learn the spring controllers. Okay, yeah. All right. Then data processing through delegation. Yeah. So here you see this delegation way. Yeah. That means inside your controller, do not try to avoid writing data processing code directly. Try to avoid doing that because that that's not a good way. Okay? Try to do your data processing in another Java class, in some other Java classes. And in your controllers, you just use those special Java business classes to, you know, to do the data processing. In that way, you will make your code, you know, well organized, you know, easy to manage, and you can also make your code more reusable and more portable. Yeah. So, in one sentence, improve the quality of your code. Yeah. All right. So that's the you know general high level overview of this design pattern. Yeah. All right. Next relationship among model, view, and a controller. Yeah. So correlation yeah, between these components. Yeah. First, between model and view. Yeah. So we know models encapsulate data for views to present. Encapsulate using objects. Yeah. Java objects or JSON objects. So you use properties properties typically you have property names right property names then you have property values right yeah property names property values yeah. so you can access your properties yeah all right so that's between model and view relationship yeah another important relationship that's this flow Controller to model, then to view. Yeah. Inside, so the meaning of this, yeah, we will see the detail. The meaning is this. Controllers receive requests from the users and invoking back-end services. Back-end services. Here we use the abstract services. Yeah. You just treat as business services, right? So in our module one, we do that report generating service, right? So that's our business service. Yeah. Here we just talk about some general business services, invoking backend services for business processing. Okay. Yeah. 
delegation through delegation. Okay, through delegation that means you do not write the that code directly in your controller. Don't do it. You write the code processing code in different Java classes, business service classes. Then you create a business objects to do the data processing. So that's the best pra practice way. Yeah. All right. Next, after processing, controllers prepare the result in the model. Yeah. You need to organize your data a little bit. Yeah. Because you may have a lot of data you need to send to the front end for the presentation. So before you send it, organize it in a good package. So, yeah, so in the models. Yeah. And send them to appropriate views to present. You may have a lot of different view pages. There are many different views, view pages. Okay. So you need to select appropriate view page for the data presentation. Yeah. So that's the whole story. Yeah. Overview, high level, abstract understanding of this model view controller design pattern. Yeah. So in our first video, so we understand the, this abstract concept. Later, so we will use the spring way to implement this model view controller. Yeah. All right, so let's stop here for our first.